first on the show, we'll be meeting up with Keep Lexington Beautiful and the Lexington Fire Department to talk about cigarette butt litter. Well, I'm here to talk about litter, and not just any type of litter, but cigarette butt litter. Cigarette butts are the most littered item in the United States, representing about 32% of roadside litter, and that's according to Keep America Beautiful. Although smoking has uh, decreased in the U.S. by more than 20% in the last decade or so, that's according to recent studies, cigarette butts still remain a most littered item. You can see in the downtown area outside of bars and restaurants where now we have an indoor smoking ban, this transition area where people enter a business or come out of a business becomes a point where they flick their cigarette butt on the ground. And as you can tell, it creates an eyesore. It's also a stormwater pollutant because once it rains or snows or the wind blows, those cigarette butts will enter the storm drains in Lexington which emptied directly into our creeks in Fayette County. There is no filter system in place to be able to remove the cigarette butts. In addition to the indoor smoking ban, hospitals in Lexington have also created smoke-free campuses, which once again create a transition zone for patients, for visitors, for staff entering that smoke-free area. There's a transition area where they must dispose of their cigarette butts. If a cigarette ash urn is not available, again, the tendency is to just throw that cigarette butt on the ground. And as you can tell, rain gardens in Lexington, streets, curbs are filled with cigarette butts. Many restaurants and bars in Lexington, because there's an indoor smoking ban, have set up outside seating areas that allow their patrons to both eat, drink, but also smoke. Unfortunately, many restaurants and bars are not providing ash urns for their patients to dispose of their cigarette butts properly. And as you can tell, when finished smoking, most of the time these cigarette butts end up on the ground. Again, if it rains or snows, the wind blows, those cigarette butts will go directly into our storm drains, which empty directly into our creeks in Fayette County. So what can we do to prevent cigarette butt litter in Lexington? Well, if you're a patron or a customer of a bar or restaurant that has an outdoor area, be sure and ask the management to provide a way for you to be able to dispose of your cigarette butt litter properly. Ask them to provide uh, an ash urn outside of their business. You can also look for auto ash trays or pocket ash trays. They're being distributed locally by Keep Lexington Beautiful. Keep Lexington Beautiful is an affiliate of Keep America Beautiful. And the commission in the past three or four years has received thousands of dollars in grants to implement cigarette litter prevention programs in Lexington. Several years ago, the first year of the program, UK Hospital, St. Joseph Hospital, other hospitals in Lexington participated in the program. They saw a reduction of more than 90% of cigarette butt litter. In 2013, we partnered with the Division of Parks and Recreation and did a project at the Picadome Golf Course. We provided ash urns throughout the golf course for those golfers who smoke to be able to dispose their cigarettes, cigarette butts properly. Again, look for ways uh, that you can dispose of your cigarette butt. Keep Lexington Beautiful will be at different events around Lexington throughout the summer and into the fall. And we'll be passing out auto ash trays as well as pocket ash trays. The auto ash trays will fit inside your car's cup holder. You can put your cigarette butt inside there. And once it's full, dispose uh, of those cigarette butts properly by emptying them into a trash can. Keep Lexington Beautiful also has these pocket ash trays, which will slide open. You can put your cigarette butt inside there, snap it shut, and put it back in your pocket. Again, once you get to a trash can or an ash receptacle, you can empty that out there. Help us to keep Lexington Beautiful and help us to prevent stormwater pollution by disposing of cigarette butts properly. My name's uh, Kyle Branham. I'm a firefighter here with the Lexington Fire Department. Uh, I currently serve in the Community Service Division and Public Education. In uh, Fire departments in the United States last year responded to roughly 90,000 runs that related to uh, smoking materials. And a lot of those were mulch fires, fires that were started by people throwing down their, their cigarette butts and not disposing of them properly. Uh, one of the issues is the dryness in the summertime that's already uh, readily available and when we throw down the cigarette butts and don't dispose of them properly obviously that causes more fires. 
Yeah, once again, I just want to reiterate that the dryness that's already out uh, out right now, if you're throwing a cigarette butt either you know, out your window or if, if it goes in somebody's yard, it can start a fire. Uh, there's roughly 600, over $600 million in property damage uh, last year alone from cigarette uh, butts and materials from, sm from smoking. So uh, yes, if they're not disposed of properly with the, with the conditions that we currently have, it will cause fires and, and lots of property damage. Uh, nationwide, we've actually seen a decrease just due to the uh, uh, people have not not as many people are smoking uh, due to cost and also just the smoking bans that are going across the nation however um, if they're not disposed of properly in these kind of conditions they will cause a fire